Hey everyone, what's up? This is John with Anthem. Thought I'd give you a, uh, a little corner shot here of, uh, of me in the office here working away. Um, came across this today in a client site and thought I would share this, this tip. I'm sure it's been shared before, um, but it saved me some time. So um, we all love having headers and these parallax sections and other background sections. And the cool thing about the header module, the full with header module anyway, is that it gives you this background overlay color, um, which is nice because you can put this little overlay to make the text more readable on the images. Um, but in sections like this one here, um, in the regular section, there's no spot for that background overlay. I definitely think they should add it, but there's not a spot for it. So what I've been doing to get around that was I was um, taking my row, making it full width, making the gutter zero, and then I was adding a uh, I was adding an uh, opacity color on that row, and so that row is covering the whole thing here. Like if you see here. There's my columns, here's my row, and there's my background color. So without it, you know, it's hard to read that text. But with that row background, it, you know, the text is can read now because of that overlay. But um, what that meant was in my advanced design settings for the columns, I'd have to go in this column two, which is where the text was, and I had to jack around with the with the mart, the, the uh, padding. And if the client ever changed text or wanted that change, this is kind of hard to find. Um, so that really wasn't a great long-term solution. I mean, it works for me on this site. Um, so what I'm going to show you now is a couple other ways to do this besides that method. So here we have a section, kind of like this one up here, where the clients put this image in that's too bright. Now you could ask the client to take this image into Photoshop and put an overlay on it in Photoshop and then re-import it and boom, problem solved. But most clients don't know Photoshop. Um, so I'll kind of show you what to do here. So the easiest way to do this for this example and um, is to go into the section. And this is, this is the section here. There's my fireworks deal. And in the custom CSS, in the before area here, I'm going to go grab this code right here. And this code's available for download in the video description. But I'll just grab this code right here, and I'll paste it in, save and exit, go up here, update, wait for it. All right, refresh my page, and boom, my overlay is now working. I don't have to go into Photoshop. And the cool thing is, if I inspect the element in Chrome, I can go to that section and to the before area. Here we go. So I went into that, that section, into the before. And then up here, I want to move this out of the way so you can see, I can actually use this color picker and say, well, what if I want it like hot pink and turn it up? You know, you can, which I would not recommend. Um, but you can kind of mess around. I usually like like this, the blues, these, these grays here seem to be about right for adding in just a little bit, even like right there. And then you could, then you could take this R, this RGBA code and you could go in and replace, you know, replace that code here or go back to your back end and replace that, you know, go in here and say, swap out that code. Right? It seems easy enough. Um, and you, normally that would be in the tutorial. But this is a static image back here. If I go in and I make this image parallax, and first, before I refresh this, I'm going to tell you what this is doing. What this code is doing, it's saying, go in before that before that section div, go in and put it, make a new div, 
and have it be empty. Content is nothing here. Display block height 100. Position it absolutely top left zero zero width 100 percent. So we got our it's covering the whole area of that section, and then make the background color with that. And so right here, that's exactly what it's doing. It's going into that section right here. And right before the content of that section, so inside this section is this is the content, this row. Before that row, it's going in and throwing a div in there. Well, I'm not it's it's simulating a like a like a pseudo element kind of thing. Uh, and it won't let me okay, yeah, I don't let me see here. Do I have to I don't know if it's gonna let me do this on the fly. Yeah, there it goes. You can see my test there up in the corner. And so that's why you just you just put empty stuff there. Oh geez, the double quotes. There we go. For empty. Because we don't want any, anything there. But it's it's covering this whole area. Alright, so now I've changed it to parallax, right? So I'm going to refresh and you're going to see that it doesn't work. And the reason why it doesn't work is my code's still working. It's still going into the section. It's going before the content and it's putting that in. But since now that our background image is parallax, our background image isn't being applied to the section anymore. It's being applied to this other div. And since I'm putting code in before, it's doing that. Now you could say, well, why don't you put the code in after? And I think if I, I haven't tried that yet, but I think if I do that, it's going to put a, uh, let me copy this, or let me cut it, put it after. I think it's going to put it over everything, even our text, which obviously we don't want to cover our overlay over our text. Let's see what that does. Sometimes you just got to play with things to see. Okay, yeah, so it did it, and now it, it covers the image, but now it's covering my text. So after isn't going to work. So when using a parallax image, after or before isn't going to work. So I'm actually going to go in here and just delete this code. But you see that I've given this section a class of gray overlay. I'm going to save this and you'll see why. And I could have made it, I could have gave it an ID and just targeted this one div, but I'm just going to go ahead and refresh my page now. I've totally stripped out that code, so it's like this now. I'm going to switch over. And so here you see I have gray overlay, and then I have this ET parallax BG, and then I'm going to use that before deal. So what that is saying is on our parallax background, it's going to go in, find the section gray overlay, which is right there. Then it's going to find this, the uh, class, the div with the class of ET parallax BG, which is right here, this guy. And that class is holding our background image. And it's saying, it's going to say before that, put in the background, or put in the, uh, put in our overlay code. So I'm going to copy this. And normally you would just throw this in the uh, theme options, but I'm just going to throw it right here for time's sake, just in this custom CSS right there. So there's our rule. I'm going to save it. Update. Wait for it. I like to sing when waiting for pages to reload. It's a true, true fact. All right, reload the page and boom, there we go. Our overlay is now working on our section and the cool thing about it is actually that's a I think that's a little much I'm actually going to turn it down a tiny bit to like point what's it on right now point six let's do point let's just do point four and let me save it and then we'll take a look at what it's doing there we go so now I'm going to inspect it this time all right, so again, it's finding the div that has gray overlay class, which is right there, which we set in the in the module in the section editor there, back in WordPress and Divi Builder, um, and then it's going to find the et parallax bg, right? It finds the gray overlay, then it goes and finds that, and then it uses this before pseudonym and adds in this code. Let's see how it did that. So let me let me twirl this down. There's that before, there's our code, 
I could go in here and, and you know, whatever. I feel pretty good about this point four because now if I go in here and or the client goes in there and they choose some other image. Oh, good grief. I don't even know. Like this one. That one's pretty bright. Oh, I see. It's not going to let me. There we go. My picture of myself is covering the publish button. There we go. So now I've changed images, but text is still going to be readable because my my uh, overlay there. So now clients can change this image as they want, and it's all good. So I hope you stuck with me through this. Um, and then the other cool thing about that is that if you took this code and you put it in your theme options, CSS area, then any section that you put this gray overlay on, it's going gonna, it's gonna to have that. And the cool thing is if I may add a comma here, and let me copy this, all this, copy, and let me just get rid of this parallax one. All right. I'll show you what this does. So this is actually the code snippet that you want. And I'll leave it like that in the video. But if you remember, the only reason we used this code with the parallax was for parallax images. And before we were going in, if it wasn't a parallax image, we were going in and pasting the code right here before. Well, what that addition did is, now if I turn off parallax, so whether that section is parallax or not, now... Um, it doesn't matter. The code, whether it's parallax or not, the code's going to work either way. It's going to give us that overlay. Boom. So whether it's parallax or not, we have that overlay now. Uh, so pretty sweet. And again, you're looking at Anthem, and this actual uh, cycle picture there is from one of the custom layouts that comes with Anthem, this Anthem Cycles one, where, where we bring in a different Google font here to use. And here's the Ken Burns effect that comes with Anthem that's bringing the image towards you. And you could actually reverse it and make it go the other way if you reverse the values in the CSS code. There's a video on that. But this whole layout comes with Anthem. Um, so if you, sell, if you sell bikes, this is a, Anthem is for you if you sell bikes. Uh, anyway, and for uh, until, uh, until Tuesday here, the, well, the 7th or 8th or whatever that is, um, Anthem is 25% off, so, uh, and everything else at elegantchildthemes.com. Just using the code Divi Chat Podcast. I'll put that in the description underneath the video. So, thanks for watching, and um, yeah, that is how you do the overlay here uh, with code, and so that you, for those sections that don't have it built in, like the full width header. All right, thanks. Take care, guys. Have a great weekend.